When I started Sterling, um, I never thought to take me this far. I never thought um, I'd be able to visit the UK, uh, let alone be in a castle like this where I am today, and uh, just talk about health and what I'm passionate about, which is non-communicable diseases and youth empowerment. Um, when I started off, a lot of people uh, looked at me and said, are you crazy? Uh, what, what is it do you have? What, what are you bringing to the world? And I looked at them and said, <laughs> you think I'm crazy? Watch me do it. Watch me become the best in the industry. Watch me make a change in the community because I'm able to do it. So for me, the most uh, motivating speeches I ever had anywhere else, anywhere in the world, is when someone actually told me, you know, Starwell, you can't do it. And then I ensure I do it, and I do it better, and I take photos of it so that you'll never forget that I actually did it. So uh, what, what am I talking about today? Um, the thing is, uh, today I really want to uh, talk about commitment and, and passion and what are you willing to do, what are you willing to sacrifice. Um, what are you willing to, to do now to become the person you are meant to be in your life? What are you willing to sacrifice today in order to become the person um, life meant you to be? So, um, myself, I sacrifice a lot of things. I don't go to parties, I don't drink, um, I don't socialize a lot. Sometimes you lose a social life. And it's crazy, it's crazy. Yeah, and you, you can't maintain to have even a girlfriend because you see, um, you don't have the time. So, some things you can't even do because you are focused on this crazy, this crazy idea in your mind, but because it's also in your heart and you're passionate about it, you follow it to the end. You take all the risks, all the troubles. All the suffering, poverty, isolation. Isolation is a gift. And and for me, when I was going through the pain of, of sacrificing everything for this one thing, what kept me in the game is that I was already suffering. So I, why would I spend my time crying about it? Why not use suffering to push me to the next level? Why don't you use your pain, your suffering, your agony to actually push you to the next level? So for me, it was, it was more, it was, I decided for myself that in order for me to become successful, especially at Sterling, I'm going to give it my all. My all, and by my all I mean I'm going to give it everything. So today, uh, today was uh, is, is one big step for me. I traveled to the UK and to a castle in, uh, in Cumberland. Yeah, to talk about story, to talk about health and uncommunicable diseases and obesity. And for me, this is just the beginning. I know I'm nowhere, nowhere near where I want to be yet, but eventually, and I'll be there, eventually. Yeah, right now we might be going through the problems of poverty, the problems of lack of resources, lack of funds, lack of donors, lack of sponsorship. But Sterling is going to stand and Sterling is going to beat time and uh, in 10 years time, trust me, we're going to be the greatest, one of the greatest organizations that ever existed, focusing on youth, non-communicable diseases and uh, innovative entrepreneurship. And so today, I'd like to encourage all of you out there, never give up, never stop, never quit. Because if not us, who? If not you, who? If not me, who? Who will actually make the change, change the world, make it a better place if we don't rise up and do it? It's our time. We are going to do it because it's our time. Thank you. Okay, um, life is an interesting journey. 
you never know what actually will take you. Um, things you value, people you value, relationships, opportunities. You never know. And the thing with life is that you have to make the first steps based on faith and knowing in your mind that things will eventually work out. You have to be passionate, you have to be consistent, you have to you have to see it in your brain, you have to live the success, you have to dream the success, you have to eat the success, you have to walk the success, you have to be the success before actually going out there and doing it. You have to dream it in your mind and the genius thing you have to do is to never give up. For Sterling, we are not we are not yet there, but we are not giving up. Sterling brought us to the UK. It will take us to the world. And we will change lives and we will transform lives. Non-communicable diseases will not be a thing to be feared. Cancer, diabetes, obesity, killing millions of people every day. And what are we doing about it? And that is why Sterling is here to stay. Let me tell you one thing. We are not going to see people die every day. People suffering. Because of non-communicable diseases, no, it's not going to happen. Not when Sterling exists. And we're going to do whatever humanly possible so that we are able to actually control and actually ensure we prevent non-communicable diseases, especially in developing countries where it's becoming a problem. And so for us, it's, it's not about the money. It's, it's not about the resources. It's about the impact. It's about changing lives. You know, when we did our first project, Project Alpha, um, where I spent all of my uh, high school savings to make sure this project runs, and uh, with no resources, no external support, and no aid from anyone else, at the end of the four-month-long project, um, an engineer um, in the cold Caleb, uh, 42 years of age, came to me and uh, during one of the, the medical camps and he told me that why it's not for us going to their uh, church to talk about uh, prostate cancer and how to diagnose it. He didn't have gone, he didn't have gotten diagnosed and he didn't have realized he already had started developing stage one prostate cancer. And for us just to see that Caleb uh, actually managed to get cured from stage 1 prostate cancer um, for us it was it was inspirational it, it changed our lives it, it touched my heart we were able to make impact we were able to make change and and if you can be able to do that to someone's life if you can be able to to make a difference if you can be able to bring joy and accomplishments and that sense of gratitude in someone else's life without necessarily wanting something in return that I think that that is that is the main aim of humanity that is that is why we exist to be able to to make a difference in someone else's life and so if you're watching out there if you're starting up like we are if you're trying to develop like we are if you're still finding problems and challenges in finding the right strategies, the right uh, partners, the right organizations to sponsor, the right funding, like we are struggling, I want to tell you, don't give up, don't stop, don't quit. Because the thing is, if you are consistent enough and we believe in this struggle, eventually, eventually you'll break even, eventually you'll you'll get to where you want to be. And so for us at Sterling, we are not giving up. We know we haven't had enough yet. We don't have the resources, we don't have the funding. We haven't gotten the right strategy and probably we don't have the right people for the job and, and sometimes we have to do everything ourselves. But I know, I know deep inside, I know for a fact, we are going to change this world. That I know. And maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but eventually the world will change because we came into it. And that is the dream we hold at Sterling. 
And so I'd like to finish again in the mantra for Sterling, and uh, we strongly believe that who will change the world? If not me, who? If not you, who? If not us, who? Who will change the world if we can't do this?